I know I've been going on and on about mushrooms lately. I'm, I'm waving uh, spider webs as I walk through the woods here. <laughs> so um, I keep going on and on about them, but I'm trying to find some that I know are good eating. And there are so many. You can just almost every direction you look, there's just tons of mushrooms out here. Not necessarily ones that I recognize or would eat. But even if I'm not finding those, I am seeing all kinds of beautiful mushrooms. How about these? There's tons of them all over here. Let me show you what I do. Here's how I walk through the woods. I'm coming down into this back field. This is what pokeweed looks like when it matures. It has all these purple berries. I'm sure most of you have seen lots and lots of these and the red stalks. You would never pick the leaves and cook them when they're this mature. There's more hardwood trees here, and I'm just not seeing lots of mushrooms anymore. Over in the pines, wow, they're just all over everywhere. Here's some of our elderberries that I had cut off, and they really grew out. And here's the berries. These are all ready to pick. I don't know if we're going to come pick them or not. It's so hot, <laughs> and we just have so many things we're doing. But well, we really should. This this bush here, it just barely has anything left on it. They're almost all gone. There's a few here. I think these look these look kind of dry. No, they'd still be okay. My walk through the woods was to see if I could find another place that has a bunch of chanterelles. Last year, I didn't really see them until fall, so maybe we'll see a bunch of them this fall. I hope so. I'm over here in the material staging area where we put our chicken coops when we're not using them. Uh, you know, these tractor coops are used for the meat birds and stuff. So this fall, we'll get some more meat birds and put them in there and move them every day on the, on the grass. A little bit of siding and stuff. I think this siding right here, uh, I might have a couple of pieces that'll work on Caleb's house because on the front, we're going to put a little triangle at the top of some white siding, very similar to what's on our house. And then here's my satellite dish that didn't work and was only... Well, I was going to say only useful for a short period of time. It wasn't even useful ever. <laughs> and the company didn't even want it back. <laughs> that was weird. But that's my peppermint. As this area slowly gets used up and cleaned up, this should spread. And, and this is going to be an area where I'm going to keep all my plants that uh, are a little closer to like weeds. So this is licorice. I had to order these seeds from, uh, I think I ordered them from somebody on Etsy. It was pretty tough to find them, especially this time of year. And, or this time of year, a couple of months ago when I was ordering them, I got about 20 seeds. And what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants. This one, I'm not sure if it's going to make it. So hopefully we're going to get eight plants out of this. I think, uh, I think there's two plants right there. So maybe we got nine plants. As I'm planting them, they don't have a really elaborate root system, so they weren't holding the soil together very well. Uh, so like this one, almost all the soil fell off of the roots. And I think that's why that one's pretty droopy looking. 
but hopefully these are going to take off. If I can just get three or four plants that thrive and produce seeds, I will be good. <laughs> um, I haven't looked it up to see if these survive from year to year. I kind of think they are annuals and that they will die off and I'll just need to collect the seeds every year. Uh, I'm not sure. But the roots are are good, kind of like our turmeric roots. It's kind of a supplement or a medicinal type thing. But who knows, maybe we can learn how to make uh, so, something with a little bit of a licorice flavor, which uh, might be fun to make uh, maybe some kind of drink or something with that kind of flavor. I never cared that much for black licorice candy even though it's uh, it's a little fascinating, but it's hard to eat much of it. <laughs> Today we're getting rain from Hurricane Debbie. It finally got here after stalling and just doing such horrendous damage in Florida. So we've had some pretty heavy rains today. It's been much more calm the past uh, couple of hours, but every now and then we'll get a real heavy downpour the sheep are inside their houses, except for those two. <laughs> are you having a nice rainy day? Are you staying inside today? So I'm heading over here to continue doing some indoor work like electrical and I did a little bit of painting, uh, left that mostly up to Caleb and his friend and his fiance, but I decided today to pick up a brush and do a little bit. Here's some more streaming water heading into the field. I've gotten all that fascia done. I just got to get my roof edges on. And then the side that faces our house will be beautiful. <laughs> we're gonna do some I've already said we're gonna do some wood siding over here on the front I did get that porch uh, fascia finished out there goes Victor taking his trash to the dump I'm here with Preston and Julio. Pablo. <laughs> Walter, you recognize Walter from doing the roofing and everything else. We're always joking around, so if this is offending anyone, we apologize. We're working on Walter's mother-in-law's house. Leo is helping us by catching every ball that we throw. So we just finished figuring out which pipes go to which places. The plumber didn't mark anything, so we blew some air through them to figure out what part of the house they go to because they're running down into the slab. So some of them go over here, some of them go here, and then some from here go over here. And we're just beginning to run some supply lines. <laughs> Looks like we've been getting a lot done over here ran up and over because we have a, a pipe that's gonna be in the way here. So Rico and Preston are bringing the bathroom line down. Sweating it out. Yeah, it's pretty hot in here. Over here, we still don't have a way to cut through the metal yet. We got a hole saw, but we're having some issues. <laughs> we got uh, partial line run to the refrigerator, which I think was in the previous scene. And then we got this bathroom. Everything's done that can be done today. We need to put a shower supply here or a shower valve and then run those to it. And then over here, we need to put a piece of wood across so we can stub out for the supply lines. And then I'm about to put up this vent. So my tip for priming your pipes is always be sloppy and have too much on there because your inspector is going to be looking for it. And if you're too nice and neat, he might not be able to see it on there and he'll think you didn't use any. Some people don't believe everything they see on video, so I want to prove that it's kind of hot today. 